hi guys welcome back to tutorial race video in this tutorial this is the fourth part part four of uh, e-commerce project and in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create admin as well as front section of e-commerce project so let's go to our htdocs folder xamp this is my xamp folder and then htdocs php commerce php e-commerce i had created this folder okay and this one is our admin folder so admin html this folder contains one file which we will use for admin purpose it will contain categories products and then customers and orders also so in categories add categories view categories Sim similarly product will have add products and view products and of course the view products and uh, uh, view categories will also have edit and delete functionalities so what we will do let's keep keep its one copy just i'm copying it and i will rename it to admin only so this is our admin folder now go to admin and save save it as an index.php not html index of save as index dot php not save it and finally we will open it from http http local host localhost slash php e commerce and this one is admin so inside admin section this is our page we will be working on this first okay now we don't need this so simply we can remove now delete this okay so what we will do we will keep header part in separate file sidebar file in separate file as well as footer file in separate file so let's open it's already open so let's find here where is your header file respect element and then so this nav bar this nav bar div we need nav bar. okay so this one this is the one so click on this div and then let's see where it's closing yes So this is our PIV. Just cut it and let's create a new file, paste it and save it as header.php. And finally we will call here PHP 
require require once or you can also use include header dot php now let's check now let's check if there is any difference in the output file as you can see there is no any difference in output file and the benefit is that whenever any change is required in header if you change anything in the header file it will affect in all the files same same way we will also keep sidebar in a separate file so this is our this is our sidebar file so id sidebar find here okay this is the one let's find where is closing yes here it's closing as id sidebar so this is our sidebar control x and then finally control v save it as sidebar dot php and call it here as php require once sidebar dot php now let's check if it's including properly or not there is something wrong so let me check where is mistake Oh, it will actually in in that of PHP inside of because I'm including the file itself. It will be here actually. No mistake. Okay, so that will be fine. We will keep footer in separate file. So let's check where the footer is starting from. So this is footer. So let's find where is the class footer. Here is it. Yes, this is the footer section. Just cut it. And then control N control V footer dot PHP. And it will be here. PHP require once. Footer dot PHP. So on including work is done, now it works fine. We can also keep the center section in a separate file. 
page fifteen. Let's move it. Somewhere it says a row where I've written center. Center. Okay, so we will write whatever message we need to write here in this section. Okay, guys, so we have created three to four files and included in index.php. And in our next video, we will create one page login because without logging in, one cannot enter into this page. Only the authenticated, only the authenticated, what authenticated person can enter into the admin section and not the public. So, in the next video, I will show you how to create login page of admin. So, stay connected. See you in the, see you in the next video. Bye bye.